guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a fall essential and essentially what this is is just all of my fall favorites. Well, they're going to be my fall favorites, but they are what I feel is essential for everyone going into this fall season. If you guys cannot tell by my YouTube, I am so excited for fall. Like there, it's just like, I feel like it's one of the most beautiful times of the year. All the leaves are changing color. There's pumpkins and squash. And it's just like, you're getting closer to that time of the year where everyone gets together and celebrates Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I just can't think of any other time of the year besides July 4th that I absolutely just love with all my heart. So let's go ahead. If you want to see what I think are fall essentials for this year, um, just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with home decor, and I never thought I would be one of those people who were, like, going to have decorations for every season, but I am, and thankfully, I had so many people last year at my wedding give me seasonal decorations, and I um, am so thankful for that, so I will just go ahead and start off with some fall decorations that I think just make every house just a little bit more cozy during the fall time. And I'm going to start off with this glass pumpkin. And this is kind of like a candy drawer slash snack cookie jar. Um, or I actually have it placed on our coffee table in our living room. I got this at Marshall's last year before our wedding. It's just cute. It's not tacky. It's just a pumpkin. It has nothing written on it. Just something that you can set out and put things in so it's practical and it's cute. So that is my first item. My second item is obviously my fall wreath that I just made, which I will link the video below to show you how to do this and to how to get your own fall wreath for your door. This is just a fun, easy, cheap way to decorate your house for the fall. Moving on, I have hand towels for the kitchen, fall hand towels. And I know some of you guys are like, that is so cheesy, but let me tell you what, I love it. And it's just like one more simple way to like fill your house with like decorations that are practical and you use them and they're cute and seasonal. So I just have a few here. This one has sunflowers, so it can actually be used for fall and for summer. I got some pumpkins. I got this really pretty green pumpkin one. And then this one has, um, it says family, friends, and food, blessings, give thanks, family happiness. Like these are just so cute and they're fun to have out and you can use them and just wash them and then I just store them for the next year. And towels are not hard to store, especially when they're hand towels. So. I live in a tiny, tiny condo, and if I can find room to store towels, then I'm sure most of you can too. The great thing, though, about these towels is a lot of the times, if you just wait until, um, I would say, like, October, these towels are already going to be on sale. They're going to be knocked down because everyone's already getting ready for Christmas. So if you don't want to spend, you feel the money on them, just give it a couple weeks and keep checking, and I guarantee you they will be 50, 75% off, and so that'll be a super cute and cheap way to decorate your house for this fall season. Okay, so next I have clothing and um, a little bit of beauty and then a, like a personal item, I guess. So my personal item is a mug. Everybody needs a mug to keep their hot teas, their hot coffees, their hot chocolate, especially with sports seasons coming, those Friday night football games, those Saturday brisk morning cross country runs or soccer games. And I found this giraffe cup because we all know I love giraffes. I found this at Marshall's recently. It has the rubber top. And there's no plastic to this, which I'm very thankful for. A lot of people these days are so concerned with BPA and everything like that. So I thought this was a great alternative. And um, I'm very excited to use it. It's really cute. Super cute. Okay, so for my beauty, um, I personally, for my essentials, are a nice red lip. But this is a deep red. I got this at Sephora. This is the Luster Map 
matte longwear lip color and this is in the color cranberry i got this on sale last spring so i'm not sure if they have this exact color but i guarantee you they probably have something very close so I would definitely recommend for a fall essential to be a staple lip color. A lip color that you know is going to go with the fall and go with your fall outfits. This one for me is my go-to. As you can tell, I have it on now if you can see it. I just love the way it looks and it brings out my skin tone. Next is a eyeshadow and this is Brown Sugar from Jessie's Girl. And I actually have this on the creases of my eye today. This is just kind of a brownish orange eyeshadow. It's not like a deep dark brown. It's really just like that ambery um, orangish brown that I think will just be great for fall and it's definitely a fall color and it pairs well, I feel, with this lip color. Moving on to clothes. Your clothes essentials for this fall season are going to include some basic staples that I feel every girl should have in their closet. So. Starting off is a nice pair of booties. These I got at Marshalls. They're a size six and they're a Kenneth Cole boot. These were cheap at Marshalls. I got them last year. I actually wore these on my wedding day. These boots, I can guarantee, are going to last me forever. So purchase a good pair of boots that you're going to be able to slip on over a warm pair of socks and wear with any outfit. I absolutely adore these boots, the booties. Um, they have a great, nice, thick heel on them, and they're just overall just a great comfort shoe. I think that every girl should have a classic pair of boots, whether they're black or brown, your preference, but I think that you definitely need them for colder weather. Okay, next we are going to go with a pair of a dark denim jean. And I have these. They're a little faded on the leg, but overall dark. And I chose to go with more of the skinnier cut bottom. So I can either wear these on top of my boots or I can tuck them in. I think a great pair of dark jean is really just appropriate for fall weather. And you can wear them on a date night, just everyday wear. And um, so I would definitely recommend you having a nice pair of dark jeans to go with your fall essentials. Moving on, I have um, a Ohio State sweater. Now this is a big, comfy Ohio State sweater, and it's football season, guys, so you better get out those hoodies and those sweaters that have your favorite college, NFL, local football team on them and have them ready to wear because it is going to be time for some cold football season. And so I think that every girl needs, even if you don't like football, please. I am like not the biggest football fan. Um, I'm, I'm learning to be because my husband loves football, but really baseball for me is where it's at. But that doesn't mean that I can't have football stuff. And this is so nice and comfy. It's a long sweater. So I'll either pair this with a pair of jeans or um, a pair of black leggings and I will be all set to go. Next is a NFL Browns jersey. Um, I live in Ohio, so obviously Browns is where it's at. So every girl, I think, needs just a basic jersey. You never know when the time might come that you're going to a party and you need to dress to impress, so you'll need your sports jersey. And I have number 23, Hayden. My husband got this for me last year. So just a simple Browns jersey. It doesn't even have to be a jersey. It can be a t-shirt. Just make sure that you're showing your, your spirit and showing off your team or whichever team your husband likes so that you're not left out during the football season. Okay, so I have three items left. That's it. Three items that I think are essential. And actually, it's one item, but I have three of them to show you. So, and that is just a classic scarf. Um, one that can be layered with anything, one that goes with more than just one outfit, and something that's going to keep you warm but not too warm while you're standing on the sidelines or running, doing errands on a cold fall day. And I, so I have picked out three that I thought um, from my own personal scarf collection that I thought I could pair with a ton of stuff. So this one is just the knit infinity scarf and that is in a t color of cream so it basically goes with so many outfits that I have 
The next is a orange one which is another great fall color. I felt I could uh, pair this with a lot of different colors and things. Very fall appropriate and it is lightweight. So for one of those not so cold days, maybe it's a little brisk in the morning um, and brisk throughout the stores that I'm going to or doing errands, I can still wear this even though it warms up in the afternoon. And last but not least is this checkered plaid scarf. Um, this one is another one that's lightweight but can be very warm at the same time and it has different colors running through it. Um, the black, the um, camel color, a little bit of red and so this is something that I can pair and throw on easily whether it's I need something light and something that's going to keep me warm. So that completes my fall essentials for this fall. If you guys have any comments or think I missed anything, please let me know below. Like always, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more in the future. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel so that we can um, be friends and you can be part of my family. And I will see you guys at my next video.